I decided not to put a picture up deliberately. For once, I'm going to catch your attention by just my words. You don't have to focus on any pictures. I'm not going to make this a video like I have before where I'm actually posting pictures and saying text at the same time and giving you two stories in one. This is going to be one simple story. It's about the year 2015, the year that you are living in right now, and it's spoken about in the book of Romans. Listen closely. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. In other words, even though they did not want to keep God in their lives, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting. In other words, since you guys have decided to betray God and stab him in the back, he has corrupted your minds that you are now completely ignorant, stupid, and foolish. And you'll be doing a lot of wrong things, such as the people that go to Joel Olstein's ministry. They're all filled with this debased mind. Now, here we keep, okay, we're going to keep on going. Being filled with an un unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers. They are backstabbers. Haters of God, violent and proud, boasters, and inv inventors of evil things, disobedient to their parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful. Now we're going to go through these ones one by one. Because that's what you have to do with the Bible. When you open up your Bible, you don't, you don't just read the words. You take every word seriously, and you analyze every single word. So we're going to start out with a couple of important words here, and we're going to start out with the first one called unrighteousness. Unrighteousness is when you don't have any morals or any respect or any boundaries. Basically the narcissist. Now, moving on, it says sexual immorality. That's the world we're living in today. we got role models for young girls today that are promoting sexual Im Im immorality in little young girls. Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, all that shit. All whores out there that are promoting sexual immorality. We're going to go down to wickedness. Well, if homosexuality is not wickedness, what the hell is? Moving on to covetousness. Gee, I wonder what that is. Holding a bunch of secrets, secret societies, Bilderberg. Moving on. Maliciousness. Or as, you know, that's basically what um, Albert Pike wrote in his letter. When he didn't call it maliciousness, he called it a nihilist. Well, when you look at the feminists today and the homosexual movement, they're all trying to destroy, not create. That's nihilistic. So there you go. There's your maliciousness. Full of envy. Well, how many women today envy each other? They hate each other because they're envious of each other. Men are envious of the, of, of the celebrities and all that stuff, and they want to be like them. They, always, they all want to be like the other person. The grass is always greener on the other side. So there's your full of envy. Murderous. Strife. Deceit. Well, all of those classify once again to the narcissist. And the deceit, man, that is worldwide. Even your government's doing all the deceit right now. Nobody's telling the truth to you anymore. Evil-mindedness. Well, that explains itself. It's self-explanatory. They are all whisperers. What does the word whisperer mean? It means somebody that does something in secret. Conners. Users. Abusers. People that do stuff in secret. They are whisperers. Backstabbers. Do I need to explain that one? Is that self-explanatory? Haters of God. How many people today hate God? That wasn't even an issue a hundred years ago. Not even sixty years ago. When John F. Kennedy was president, it was a Christian nation. Violent. Proud. Boasters. That's all narcissism for you folks. We are now living in the age of narcissism. This is absolutely the age of narcissism. Inventors of evil things. Do I have to explain what the invention of evil things is? How about the sex swing? How about sex toys? Shit that should not be created that actually drives a wedge between man and woman. If you took away woman's sex toys, if you took away all women's sex toys, I guarantee you that they would be more nicer to men. But you all have created this evil wickedness for them to have the satisfaction where they don't need men no more. Disobedient to the parents. Self-explanatory. There's not a single little kid today that does not rebel against their own parents. Unloving, unforgiving, 
Does that sound familiar? How many guys today come to my channel and say that women are completely evil, they have no love in their heart? Here the Bible says to you that they are unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful. How many women today have dragged men through divorce courts, sucking away every ounce of life from this man? That's unmerciful, unforgiving. Your Bible is talking to you today about 2015, and you, and you people out there going, Oh, God's not real. I will be continuing this video later on. As for now, have a great day. See you all later.